Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel. I am Teacher Zaira, your home-based teacher in the field of agriculture and fishery arts. If you are new to my channel, please like my video after viewing and also don't forget to, to click the subscribe button. Thank you! In this video, we will talk about the feed formulation. What is feed formulation? It is a process by which different feed ingredients are proportionally combined to give the animals the proper amount of nutrients they need. The first requirement for balancing a ration is a feeding standard. So, kailangan natin ng feeding standard. Itong feeding standard, fixed na ito, na binigay ng mga expert or veterans sa field na ito at ito ang nagiging ang nagsisilbing basis nila sa pag-formulate ng feeds and this table number 5 as you can see represents the nutrient recommendations for broiler broiler type chicken so ito yung example ng Tinatawag natin na feeding standards. So, dito sila nagbabase. After looking or referring to these feeding standards, you should now list down the nutrient requirements. So, before you list the, nut the nutrient requirements, uh, isipin mo muna kung ano yung aalagaan mo. So, in this video, I have shown to you the feeding standards or the for the broiler type chicken. So magfo-focus tayo sa broiler type chicken. Here appendix E as you can see this is the examples of the nutrient composition of common feed stuff as feed. So, ito yung var sa, sa left side, makikita mo yung mga names nila. Then, uh, katapat lang nila yung mga nutrient composition nila or yung present na nutrient sa ingredient na iyan. Yan, example. Yan ang mga examples niya. Dahil sa broiler type chicken tayo, so, ang pinaka-importante sa pag-formulate, we need the crude protein. Crude protein. Ayun, naka-circle siya. The metabolized energy. Ayun, naka-circle din. The, the calcium. And the Phosphorus. Yan yung mga pinaka-importante. Pero kapag uh, commercialized na yung pag-formulate nyo, eh, kailangan na pati yung mga yung mga lysine, metayonin, kailangan eh, nasa ano na rin yan. Nasa label na rin. Pero dahil home-based formulation lang tayo, yung mga nabilugan ko lang ang pinaka-importante kasi masyado nang complicated pag medyo lahat-lahat na. Now, I will give you a problem. So, example problem. Broiler finisher ration using ground yellow corn, soybean meal, fish meal, first class rice bran, yan D1, ipil-ipil, leaf meal, molasses, Limestone and vitamin mineral premix. Ayan. So, ang hanapin natin ang broiler finisher ration. So, balik tayo dun sa... Ayan. Sa feeding standards of the nutrient recommendations for broiler type chicken. So, finisher. Ayan. Tingnan natin yung finisher. Ayan siya. Yan siya. Yan. Finisher.
Yan yung finisher. Now, list down list down the nutrient requirements of broiler finisher. So, yun yung sinabi ko kanina, yun yung pinili nating mga uh, gagamitin nating ingredients. So, ito yung mga nutrient requirements ng broiler finisher. Wait. Yan ang nutrient requirement ng broiler finisher. Kailangan natin yung crude protein, uh, energy, metabolized energy, calcium, phosphorus, and yan, mga vitamins premix. Here, this is the nutrient composition of the ingredients to be used. So, yung ground yellow corn has 8% crude protein, 3,400 metabolized energy, 0.07% calcium, and 0.25% uh, total phosphorus. Oh. Ay, soybean meal, fish meal, rice bran, ipil, ipil, leaf meal, molasses, limestone, dicafos, vitamin mineral, premix, and vegetable oil. Ayan, siya yung nutrient composition. Yan yung, yan yung nutrient na meron sa mga feed ingredients na yan. Before we proceed in calculating, we first, uh, Calculate the crude protein and metabolize energy. So, crude, for, crude protein, the broiler finisher rations, yan, needed a 27, 28, or 29 low, medium, high. As long as ma-full sila within that, okay lang. Okay lang, ha? As long as the ingredients fall on that, okay lang. Proceeding in the computation, assuming the amount percent, Yan yung gusto mong ilagay na percentage doon sa if sa if formulate mo na feeds. So let's say the ground yellow corn has 48% over 100 times the crude protein percent on the ground yellow corn. Ano yung ilan percent yung crude protein niya doon? It is 8. So 48 divided by 100 times 8 will give us 3.84. Let's check. 48 divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.48 times the nutrient present which is 8 8 8 8% will give us 3.84. So, ayun. Nakita nyo ba? 3.84 yung crude protein. Yan. So, the same goes sa mga sumusunod. So, 48 divided by 100 times the metabolized energy Ilan yung meta metabolized energy niya? Uh, 3,400. So, kuha kayo ng calculator. 48 divided, wa divided by 100 times 3,400 will give us 1,632. Oh, ganun din sa mga sumusunod. 17... Divided by 100 times the nutrient present. Ilan yung nutrient present doon? Uh, 47. Will give us 7.99. Ganun din. 17 divided by 100 times 
the nutrient presence in kcal per kilogram, 1,500, will give us 425. So, compute nyo lahat yon, Yan. Yung mga guhit-guhit, ibig sabihin, wala silang uh, crude protein doon. Wala din silang kcal per kilogram. So, after computing, i-plus nyo sila. Lahat ng crude protein, pag plusin nyo, 18.50. Yung ME, metabolized energy, kcal per kilogram, pag plusin nyo lahat, 2,897. So, nakuha ba natin yung broiler finisher? Pasok ba siya dun sa requirements, feeding standard requirements ng ano, broiler finisher? Tingnan natin. Ayun, pasok siya. Sa low, medium, high, pasok yung crude protein niya, which is 18.50 doon. Tapos, 2,800 something. Ba yung ano natin na compute? 2,897. 2,897. Ayan. Pasok na pasok siya. Sa low, medium, high. <clears throat> so, nagtataka kayo kung saan ako kinuha to. Sa libro ko rin kinuha to. Sa Philippines Recommendations for Feed Formulation. Ayan. Tapos, natapos na natin kumpitin yun. Yung fruit protein and metabolized energy. So, Hanapin naman natin yung calcium and phosphorus. So, ito na. Yung calcium and phosphorus. So, <clears throat> yung ground yellow corn, 48 divided by 100 times uh, calcium. Yung ground yellow corn, meron siyang present na nutrient sa calcium. Okay? Huwag kayong malito ha. Yung ground yellow corn, meron din siyang total phosphorus nutrient present. Kaya, kinompute din natin siya lahat. Hindi lang yung calcium and phosphorus, hindi lang, hindi mo lang makikita doon sa limestone and dicalcium phosphate. Hindi lang doon makukuha yon. Kasi, uh, the rest of the ingredients... Hindi lang crude protein at hindi lang metabolized energy ang meron. Meron din siyang uh, calcium and phosphorus and other nutrient. Basta always always keep in your in your mind that you always refer it to the feed composition table or the feed ingredients composition table yung kung saan makikita doon yung mga yung itong ingredient na to, ganito yung present niya na Ah, metabolized energy, ganito yung present niya na crude protein, ganito yung present niya na calcium, ganito yung present niya na phosphorus. Ha? Yan na. Soybean meal, yan, 17 divided by, one, by 17 divided by 100 times the uh, calcium present there. So, tingnan natin. Wait. Oh, ito. We... We go back to the nutrient composition table natin ng feed ingredients natin. Yung listed feed ingredients natin. Ito siya, yung soybean meal, meron siyang calcium and phosphorus. Yung ground yellow corn, meron din siyang calcium and phosphorus. Yung fish meal, ganun din. Yung rice bran, ipil-ipil leaf meal, molasses, limestone, and dicafos. <coughs> yung vegetable oil, wala talaga yon. Dicafos or either or dicalcium phosphate. Hello everyone! I hope you get my point. You get my point. <laughs> Ayun na. So, 16 divided by 100 times the nutrient present. Punta kayo dun sa nutrient composition. I times nyo dun para makuha nyo yung calcium present. Ayan. Ganun din sa total phosphorus. Ah, so, 6 divided by 100 times the calcium present in fish meal. 
Yan, the calcium present in fish meal is 4.40, which will give us, ilan yun? 0 0.264. Ganun ulit. 6 divided by 100 times the calcium, pre ay, times the total phosphorus present in fish meal. So, balik. The total phosphorus present in fish meal is 2.65. Ayun siya. Hindi ito. Yan. Ano lang kasi tayo screen recorder. Now, paulit-ulit lang na ganun ang gagawin nyo hanggang sa pag na-compute nyo na lahat na, na ano nyo na yung formula yan pagpaplasin nyo na ngayon so 40, 48 up to 0 0.25 will give us a total of 100 lahat ng ingredients na yan calcium pababa will give us 1.028 total phosphorus pababa will give us 0 0.847 so, balikan natin yung broiler finisher. Uh, pasok ba yung calcium? Tsaka total phosphorus? 1.028 na calcium. Ayan. Calcium and phosphorus. Naka. Actually, there is something I need to say. You know? I would like to say that in the feed composition tables, individual feeds or the individual ingredients often vary from the average chemical composition, which is one major problem of the feed millers and livestock producers who mix their own feeds. There is a wide variation in the composition of our traditional feed ingredients due to, due to rampant adulteration practices, poor processing techniques, and poor quality of raw material materials used. Consequently then, one must not look upon the feed composition table as a hard and fast rule to be followed at all times, but only as a guide in formulating ration for animals in ration formulation economy of the ration is very critical the ration should be inexpensive but not to the extent of sacrificing the quality needed in a good ration as a can as as economical sources of nutrients it is not sufficient to compare feeds in terms of price per kilogram of ingredients Different energy feeds have different contents of nutrients per kilogram. Energy feeds are usually compared price-wise on the basis of the cost per kilogram of energy or per unit energy. Ah, uh, ang ibig kong sabihin, di ba? Hindi siya pumasok dun sa calcium and phosphorus. Minsan kasi, ah, uh, yung guide, yung guide na yon, yung guides natin. Ah, hindi siya nagiging as it is. Nagkakaroon ng variation sa nutrients. Na nagkakaroon siya ng variation sa nutrients due to the different processing techniques. Iba yung paggawa natin. Parang may... Kumbaga, yung feed formulation is only as a guide para mamit natin yung nutrient requirements ng broiler finisher na yon. Pero, yung sa pag-compute, okay na yon. Dahil nag-exist tayo dun sa calcium and phosphorus, kasi yun kasi yung pinakita dun sa book na sinusundan ko, siguro okay lang yun kasi ayun nga, nagkaka na, nagkakaroon din ng variation yung wag sa actual na, hindi na yun talaga yung uh, actual nutrient niya. Kasi nga, uh, nababawasan na yun or ganun. Dahil sa processing, yung sa pagmix mix okay, sa pag- Ah, Siyempre, nagbo-volatile din siguro yung mga nutrients. Ganyan. Pero, ganun po ang pag-compute actually. Ganun po ang pag-compute. 
Ah, sa susunod po, ay ituturo ko po yun, ah, ah, kung paano ginagawa sa, sa Excel or sa spreadsheet para hindi po kayo compute ng compute, lalo na po sa mga magte-take ng thesis or sa may mga gusto na ng, ah, hindi na pa ulit-ulit. Na, yun lamang po. Sana po nakatulong po ako sa inyo. Maraming salamat. Please like and subscribe to my video and thank you.